Okay, here's 5.02 mastery check, substitute and evaluate. Um, we had we need to remember um, when we're when we're doing these that substitute means that we're going to take a number and put it in the place of a variable, and that evaluate just means to figure out what it's equal to using your order of operations. So let's take a look at letter A. 5 minus 2x, 4x equals 2. So that means I'm going to take x equals 2, and I'm going to put 2 um, in the place of x in my expression. So instead of writing 5 minus 2 times x, I'm going to write times 2. And you may be wondering how I knew to put the multiplication sign right there. Well, that's because when you have a number and a variable like this, there is a multiplication sign implied right there. It's just not shown. So that means multiplication, even though there's no multiplication sign. So I needed to put it here. If I didn't, it would look like 5 minus 22, which is not what we want to say. So I substituted. Now I need to evaluate. In evaluating, I'm going to use my order of operations, which means I need to multiply first. So this gives me 4, and so now I have 5 minus 4, which is 1. And that's my final answer. All right, for letter B, we're asked to substitute twice for two different variables. C is equal to 3, so I'm going to put that in the place of C, and B is equal to 4, so that will go in the place of B. So when I substitute, instead of having c squared, I'll have 3 squared plus 2 times 4 instead of b. And again, that multiplication just comes because I know that there's a multiplication right there. So now I'm going to evaluate this using order of operations. Exponents come first. 3 squared means 3 times 3, so that's equal to 9, plus 2 times 4. Order of operations tells me I need to multiply before I add. So I get 9 plus 8, and that gives me 17. For letter C, I have 3n minus 5. For n equals 4.3. So I'm going to substitute 4.3 in the place of n. So I have 3 times 4.3 minus 5. I need to do this first. I would come off to the side and do my multiplication. You can do lattice if you're not old fashioned like me. <laughs> 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So 12.9 minus 5. Then I would come over here and subtract 12.9 minus 5. Remember to line up your decimals. So the decimal in the number 5 is after the number 5. So I lined it up with this. And over here I'd have a 0. 9 minus 0 is 9, and I cross this out to carry. 12 minus 5 is 7, so 7.9 is my answer there. Now on letter D, we have 5x squared minus 4y, and there are variables. Um, that negative sign is a mistake, don't worry about that. Okay, so 5x squared, I'm going to substitute in x equals 3. So 5 times, there's that invisible multiplication sign, 3 squared minus 4 times y is equal to 4. So I do order of operations. 3 squared comes first. 5 times 9 minus 4 times 4. Multiplication comes next. 5 times 9 is 45 minus 4 times 4 is 16. So 45 minus 16. Um, and I can come over here and do that. I need to borrow. 4 becomes 3. This becomes 15 minus 6 um, gives me 9. And 3 minus 1 gives me 2. So I have 45 minus 16 is 29. And the last one. Now we're substituting in a negative number. So we just need to be careful with that. We have still 8 times x, so you're still going to do multiplication here. Don't do subtraction. I've seen some students just put 8 minus 2. This is still multiplication, so you still need to multiply 8 by negative 2 minus 
9. Order of operations says multiply first. That's negative 16 minus 9. So think about negative 16 on the number line or being 16 feet below sea level. Um, and then going 9 feet farther down, you're going to end up at negative 25.